Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Leo, this is going to be your own reading today. Uh, we're going to, you know, start it as a general reading. If it turns into a love reading, right, and you want to marry me, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to have an extended on that person. And of course, if not, I just kind of had to like uh, have a laugh. Let's see what we have for you guys. I hope you guys are all well, Leo. And we have the Woodwives, Adaptability, okay? And uh, you're adapting to some type of a situation. I feel like you are looking at things with fresh eyes. Yeah, we have this uh, fresh approach card over here. Yeah, you're looking at things with fresh eyes and let love be your beacon. Uh, you know, maybe before you were making a decision about something, but it was not based on love. Maybe it was based on money. Maybe it was based on, you know, you got five kids you got to take care of or just anything. I work over here. I can't go be with, you know, uh, Giselle or, you know, uh, Daniela, right? I can't go be with uh, Daniela because, uh, because I work far away. But now, you know, this decision, whatever, I feel like there's some type of decision here, right? And you are learning to adapt. Like, you're being flexible here. And you're saying, you know what, love? It looks like love's more important. Uh, it's going to be a love reading, right? For sure. <laughs> love's more important. So now you're looking at things uh, more kind of adapting and also with a fresh with fresh eyes, like a fresh ap approach. Yeah. And then we have the card of lost in space, needing direction. Okay. So, you know, uh, you know, with these cards here, you it's probably suggesting here, let love be your beacon. Let love be the reason, right? Be adaptable, be flexible. Look at things with fresh eyes because you feel like you need a little bit of direction here. You do. And the lady is, you know, she's hugging the earth there. Mm -hmm. She's a, she's a, uh, she's uh, an angel. Yeah, with those wings. I hope she is. Shoot. Nowadays, they got angels dressed up like devils. And yeah, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing to everybody. Everything that looks like it's nice is not. And everything that looks like it's horrible is kind of good kind of they just want you so confused here right so you can't figure out their agendas just start looking for the truth and you'll understand and you can't trust uh, the mainstream oh hell no so let's see what we got for uh, Leo yeah <laughs> see what we have for you Leo and interesting how the wheel of fortune was like uh, earlier in the pre-shuffle and here it is again and let's see. Okay, there's somebody from your past that you, I feel like you love. And I feel like also you are probably making a decision to, I feel like you need some type of direction about a decision. But you, like, your this decision you make has to be based on love or the right reasons. Yeah. And uh, the Hermit card, this is Virgo maybe. We have a lot of majors here already. So... You know, right now, uh, you look like you have a new path you're trying to decide about. The sixth page of wands. Over here, you look like you're leaving. Six of swords. Uh, you know, that's somebody who wants to get to a, calm, a, a calmer place. Like, I don't want to be here with problems and arguments and whatever lies. I mean, I'm not saying somebody's lying to you. I'm just saying, in general, that person wants to be in a place where there's peace, right? typically, or it's, you know, or there's more, more room for function or success. And here you are, the two of pentacles with the wheel of fortune. You look like you're making a decision about, you know, uh, going to uh, gamble tonight, Leo. Just kidding. Uh, with the wheel of fortune. Could be a Sagittarian you're making a decision about. It could be. There's somebody here you're making a decision about. Yeah, and you're trying to, I feel like you are being like, your, your higher consciousness could be telling you, you know, do it for love right? That's what your soul tells you. Do it for the right reason, right? Your, your logic will put fear in you, right? Your logical mind. Your logical mind will tell you you can't do something. You're not good looking enough. You're not smart enough. You're not rich enough. You're not skinny enough or you're, you know, you're not dark enough. You're not light enough. Whatever it is, uh, that's what the logical mind tricks you all the time. The logical mind is really the devil, and that's what they want you, these people I was talking about earlier, they, they don't want you to use your intuition or trust your soul, right? So trust your soul, Leo, because that is, you know, kind of this is a simple way to say, you know, uh, use your intuition, right? Trust your soul, trust your heart. And uh, here you are, uh, but I feel like you're trying to leave something. Page of Wands, Six of Swords, um, 
and there's somebody that you love. I feel like, or maybe you're leaving somebody, this doesn't make, there's somebody from the past here, Six of Cups, right? Yeah, that you feel warm and fuzzy about, for sure, because that's what that, in that card, uh, the bigger kid is being, like, really, yeah, really kind to the littler kid. Uh, it's really cute how they have these kids a long time ago, because, you know, the way they dressed them, they look like little old ladies, yeah. Yeah, my daughter looked out like a little lady when she was a baby. <laughs> That's really cute, right? Because you got dresses on them and stuff like that, too. But, you know, I just feel like uh, you have the Knight of Wands here, too. This could be a Sagittarian here. I just feel like you made up your mind about somebody. Uh, I feel like you thought about somebody for a really long time. You're like, well... I feel like you did for a long time. And this is why, you know, you have, like, a fresh approach in this reading. I feel like you're beginning to take a fresh approach on this situation. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. I just feel like you might have made up your mind here that you want some type of a new life. Like, whatever you're dealing with now or whoever you're dealing with now, right? So we have the Queen of Cups here, Leo. And it's coming from the, uh, the Before Tarot, right? And uh, let's see what they have to say, because this is kind of a, this is a very unique uh, take on the tarot. It is this chick who wrote this book. I think it's a woman. Yeah, Corinne Keisner, Kenner. So let's see what we got. And the Queen of Cups reversed. Mm-hmm. So reversed, she's usually not in a good place, but let's see what it says. A meddling woman or a suffocating, overbearing woman. So you could be married to somebody like that. God, Leo, I'm glad it's you, not me, all right? <laughs> First of all, I don't really want to marry a woman, but uh, worse would be, you know, a controlling person. Yeah, did it say a meddling woman? I think it did. This could still be a man, but it could, right? Because it just could. But... Uh, <laughs> whoever you're married to, Leo, uh, or you're with is suffocating or overbearing. OMG. I feel like i got to come rescue you here. This is why you have this card, Leo, lost in space, needing direction. You're like, let me get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, but you feel like a little nervous about it. I feel like you do. This is not really funny, huh? You could be saying, God, power and light. You're, you're really mean. Uh, and the Six of Cups with the Sun card is your highest expectations. I feel like somebody makes you happy here. And this is why. This is your goal. This is what you want. I feel like you want to leave somebody who's overbearing and you want somebody from your past. Mm -hmm. And that's why love, let love be, the, be your beacon. Like, let it be the light. Let it be the light. The, the beacon, I feel like, is like a guiding light. Uh, I could be wrong, but it, on the precise, you know... But, you know, let it be the reason. Let it be the light. Let it be, uh, you know, she's showing the light here. The beacon is, I feel like, something that guides you. Yeah, that's why she's holding the light. So let love, you know, be your guide or your reason, as I was saying, right? And unfolding, uh, Leo, is the Page of Wands and the Two of Swords reversed. So here you are on a new path, mm -hmm. and the Two of Swords is reversed. I feel like you already, you already took off your blindfold. You want to leave this situation. This is why, uh, this is why, this, this is why, <laughs> this is why the Six of Swords is here, the Page of Wands is here, but you already made up your mind, like, you, you're like, I want to get the hell out of here, I want to get the hell out of Dodge, and the Star card reversed is showing up with the Queen of Wands, so this could be you, Leo, this could be maybe the Sagittarian, right in the heart of the matter, uh, because I feel like, I don't see Aries in this reading, but... I feel like in the heart of the matter is somebody here, and it could be this Knight of Wands, and they could be Sagittarius. They just could be, because the Queen of Wands is so close. And So, you know, the star card is reversed. This is energies leaving you. I feel like you gave up on hope on, on a situation. You gave up on hope. You're like, uh, I feel like you did. So let's see what else we have. The High Priestess, and wow. another card this could be somebody who kind of figured out what you're doing the person you're with the overbearing person or somebody could have figured out here that you want out 
Ace of Swords. I feel like somebody knows here that you have a secret. And I feel like you do have a secret. I feel like this person from the past. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you're with this person from the past or they're waiting, you know what I mean, for you to finish up here. There's like a finishing up energy in this reading. Like, let me finish this relationship. I want to I wanna go. The Six of Swords is showing up here, and this is going to be what's coming soon with the Page of Swords. So this could be the person you're with, because here we have the Sagittarius card right here. It's possible that, or maybe a Cancer here, but I feel like somebody's wondering if you're going. I mean, this could be you. It could be, because this is about you leaving. Let's get another card. Hangman. Somebody could be trying to enlighten themselves about leaving, but this again, this could be you. And somebody could be wondering, the person you're with, or, well, there is somebody here, yeah. They could be wondering here if you're going to sacrifice them. The hangman can be a sacrifice, right? That's what he's doing. He's making sacrifices up on this damn post. It's not fun to be up there, you guys. No. No, your hair, like, falls down and your shirt falls down and your bra showing. Stuff like that, all right? <laughs> uh, they have, it can't happen to him, though, because they have, like, a... He's, he's wearing tights, all right? That's enough for me. When a man wears tights, I'm over it, right? <laughs> but he's got a belt on. <coughs> How other people are affecting you, uh, Leo, is the hermit and the sick and the queen of swords. See, this is how they're affecting you. Maybe they are having you discern, discern a matter. The hermit is also looking for the light or the answer. Justice. Oh, this person that you're with, the unbearing person, is... Having you think about a divorce. I feel like they are. Justice. Or they're having you think about what's fair and good for your own life. Or about the truth. I don't feel like you're living like a truthful relationship here. You could be with somebody who is overbearing and that's not, never the truth. That's not. That's not how we're supposed to be. Right? Just like the government shouldn't be telling you what to do in your life. That's what they want. They want to run every aspect of your life. So people don't start speaking up for their for their options. Even if you agreed with something they did, you have to speak up for your choice in order to say yes or no. If you don't do that, you're handing them over, and that's what they're. That's what this is about, partially a test. This is a test to see if we're just going to surrender our our rights. All right. Yeah, you guys. If you know, read about psychology. I know exactly what they're doing. Also, the history of the world. People don't know. My daughter said to me something the other day about how great it was going to be if it was like, uh, if it was, a, you know, we were living in a social society. And I don't really want to say the word, but you guys know what that is. Yeah, we're all going to be equally broke. <laughs> That's what it is. So, but they hid that from them in the schools. So stand up for your options and your choices. Like Bob Marley says, stand up for your rights. So let's see what we got, you guys. And the chariot card... Uh, Leo, this is how you're affecting other people. I'm sorry to interrupt that right there, but yeah, you know, kind of throw that in there. It's really important. I could sit here and tell you all this stuff. Uh, we don't have time though. And you would go, yeah, it really is important. Yeah, you'd be like almost falling off your chair. Yeah. So this is how you're affecting them, Leo. Right? The Chariot card and the Two of Cups reversed. I feel like this is the person you're with. Like, they think that, you know, the Two of Cups is reversed here. They think you want to break up and that you're going to have victory somewhere else or that you want movement, right? Maybe this person thinks that you feel stagnant with them. And if they are overbearing, you know, maybe there is stagnancy. I mean, that's what I was saying. I'm glad it's you, Leo, not me, right? I can't be with somebody who tells me what to do. That's how we got into that conversation. <laughs> No, I'm like, mm -hmm. I was married to somebody like that. Oh, just, you know, if you take too long at the store, they're like, where are you? You're like, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm sad, right? So let's see what we have. I don't feel like you want to do it anymore either, Leo. I feel like you don't, right? So let's look at your hopes and fears, the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So, you know, you're at this crossroads about this choice, and you're hoping for... Like, I feel like you're hoping for a relationship, and you could be with this, this person from the past, Six of Cups, 
But I feel like you're also kind of hoping that you might have some financial abundance at the end of it. You could also be concerned with a family here in this reading. You might be concerned with a family. Page of Pentacles. So you're hoping here that you're going to have a new start. Yeah. And that you're going to... I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles that you're hoping for like some type of solid or security or something solid. Like I don't want to, I don't want to do all this and, you know, and kind of, you know, leave a situation and end up where there's something kind of flimsy, whether or not that is your financial situation or another relationship, right? I'm going to end this reading, uh, Leo, I am. And we're going to go to the extended. We're going to see your outcome. We're going to see how this person feels about you, the shared energy, right? We're also going to see their current energy, what they want, what they're afraid of, what's challenging them, right, and also their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, God bless everybody. Mm -hmm. If you want, you want to hear about Ascension on this platform, is David Wilcock, C-O-C, Wilcock, W-I-L-C-O-C-K. You have to find his video that says 1981 in it. Boy, is it fascinating and worth watching. Thank you so much, guys.